Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we're going to talk about the express entry pool breakdown because there are many things that people did not understand in yesterday's draw. So the first thing is uh, people are asking whether PNP candidates were selected. Yes, they were selected. Keep that out of your mind. I mean, these are, this is not something that you need to be worried about. 669 people had their CRS above 600. Now, above 600 CRS is not possible without having a PNP nomination. And keep in mind, the CRS pool breakdown is usually two days or one day reverse. But this time around, it was the current date of July 6th. So 669 people had their PNP nominations. Okay, so keep that clear in your mind. So that was the first thing that I wanted to talk about. The next thing is, uh, I mean, eight... 1773 people with an addition of around 700 people in 15 days uh, they stand above 500 okay now the crs range of the lowest ranked candidate was 557 one of my subscriber also has gotten the ita in this crs range and one of these subscribers has two or three points below 557 so this is the thing that we need to understand there are people uh, who have studied from Canada, worked in Canada, have their master's degree, have their French language, have their English language, have their LMIAs. So like they can score above 557. Now this is not a big deal. 557 is not a big deal. Why? Because only 1500 people were selected. And out of 1500, 669 were the PNP candidates or maybe even uh, 100 more than that. We don't know about it. And rest of the people around 800, 700 people, they were between the range of 557 to 600 okay so keep that in mind it was including pnp including fsw cec fst everybody was included in this draw who had their valid express entry profile okay so that is one thing clear now let's talk about 1500 crs uh, 1500 ita draws if they continue 1500 ita draws meaning 50% of those will be PNP nominees who receive their nominations. So 50% would be uh, them. Around 800, 700 people would be uh, getting selected from the existing pool of 500, uh, 501 to 600. That is 8,773, uh, which would be around 8,000 right now. So around 50% people in every draw of 1,500 ITS would be selected from the express entry pool. Rest would be PNP nominees. Okay, so if they continue 1,500 draws, it could take a while to go below 500 CRS rate. Keep that in mind. And um, uh, some of my subscribers are asking that we have a PNP nomination. So shall we drop that and wait for the draws to happen? Because they want to save $1,500 uh, that is to be paid for OINP, for example. Okay. But uh, it is my advice. If you receive a nomination from any province, if you receive an invitation, just accept it. Just go with it and go uh, into the express entry pool as a PNP nominee and get yourself selected. Don't wait for the miracles to happen because it might not happen now why they only selected 1500 people two main reasons one reason is that 1500 uh, people will not be a lot that would be increased uh, that will be included in the already big backlog okay so the backlog is the first reason that why uh, they selected 1500 people second reason is tr to pr 90000 people they have to make way for those 90000 people to be landing in canada because if you look at the immigration level plans they are not a lot only 55000 56000 people would be landing in canada outside tr to pr as economic immigrants and those people are already sorted with the backlog because the people with the backlog they are now landing in canada and 50 55 56000 people they are already sorted now these draws they will contribute to the 2023 number of people landing inside Canada and that number is also not a lot and they have to make way for TR to PR 90,000 people. Now with the motion 44 they might introduce a new pathway so this is um, maybe a beginning for a new pathway as well they have to make way for that. Now they IRCC was drowning and they are now just keeping their nose above water. They are not like, okay, we are above water now. They're not like that. They have just showed that their nose is above water, like express entry draws are resumed. So they are politically correct and they stand politically correct that, okay, well, express entry draws are resumed. Um, nothing is at pause and we are going uh, 
uh, at a normal speed but it is very gradual uh, gradual okay so uh, understand the expression of tree pool breakdown don't uh, satisfy your taste buds by saying that oh no uh, these were only fake profiles no i mean fake profiles are always going to be there but these are actual people who have um, uh, certain advantages that we don't have okay so accept that and I mean, don't satisfy your inner self that, okay, these are fake profiles, leave it, leave it, leave it. Uh, it's not like that. Maybe there are fake profiles, but a very few, maybe 50, 40, 100. I mean, does that really matter or not? You tell me, okay? So share your opinion in the comment section below. And also tell me if you think the, the future draws will be above 1500, because um, I mean, to be on a safe side, we should assume that 1500 uh, is the number that they are going to um, uh, um, be selecting for the coming draws until the express entry categories are resumed. Now, thing to watch is OINP. Let's see what they do. They have a golden opportunity to grab all the high, high scoring human capital people. Okay, so with these words, this is Alif Sakhar, and I'm hoping great things are still coming your way.